Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola with MyGolfInstructor.com. Once we take the time to place our hands on the club correctly, we want to make sure that they stay there and we maintain the same grip pressure throughout the swing. One of the most common points in the grip where players tend to let go is right here between the heel pad of their left hand and the last three fingers. This is for a right-hander, of course. When we let go with this at the top of the swing, what happens is we re-grip it and put pressure into the club at the wrong point in the swing, causing early acceleration. Also, what happens is when you re-grip it, the club can move and change, and you can come back with a completely different face from the one that you intended to have it addressed, which was hopefully square. So I've got a neat little tee drill. What we're going to do is teach you how to take a tee and simply put it under the heel pad of your left hand and squeeze it. And as you swing and get to the top of your swing, you want to make sure that you're holding on to that. Now, if you're having problems with this, it's probably due to a strength issue in your left forearm. So those little squeezy exercise balls or even hand weights can help, but you want to do anything you can at the gym or home to increase that grip pressure in your forearm and wrist muscles. It's simple and it works.